Good morning, Hero Wars fans. We have found out how to defeat Shaverak, which we asked our viewers about in a recent video. Now, I would like to proceed with the story by showing you a scene in which Shaverak is being defeated. We received a variety of feedback from our viewers regarding the best team composition to defeat Shaverak. Thank you so much. As reported in the previous video, the most effective attacks against Shaverak are regular physical attacks. After Shaverak's silence skill is activated, the attacker's skills will not be activated at all, so if you attack Shaverak with too inappropriate a team composition, you will not win at all. I fell into this trap. This is going to make you laugh, but in the early days of the Great Storm event, I was playing this event map with a team composition of Astaroth, Kark, Jurgen, Faceless, and Martha. Therefore, I had no recollection of any defeats in the battles on the periphery of the map. However, at some point I was unable to defeat Shaverak on the Great Storm event map. It was during this time that I hired Kai to replace Jurgen in the team composition. In other words, I had previously assumed that the Great Storm's event map was designed to make it easy for anyone to beat the enemy, but after adopting Kai as my team composition, I was unable to beat Shaverak. When I saw Jurgen's name in the recommended team composition for the Shaverak battle, which I received from a viewer, I knew why I could no longer defeat Shaverak. In fact, while playing the Great Storm, which was held around the time I adopted Kai as my team composition, I had the following thought. Hmm, did the management also make the enemies on the event map stronger? I kind of feel like the enemies just got stronger. As viewers have already noticed, the enemy is not getting stronger, it is just that the team composition was changed from Jurgen to Kai, which made it impossible to beat Shaverak. For this reason, I would like to adopt Jurgen as my team composition to defeat Shaverak the next time the Great Storm is held. It's dramatically depending on which team composition you choose. Therefore, this project reminded us that we need to be flexible enough to change our team composition as needed. This time it was my overconfidence in Kai that prevented me from beating Shaverak. Therefore, I would like to share with you one of the comments I received from a viewer that impressed me. I'll pass on the battle of number 25. The moment I read this comment, I felt self-loathing, wondering why I had not noticed. Here is an image of the map of this event, as you can see I am moving to the inner part of the map, skipping 7 places in the outer part of the map. I was reminded once again of my own stupidity, that if I was so bad at Shaverak, why didn't I select a route that skipped number 25? If I couldn't beat Shaverak, then I should have just passed on that battle. I know some of you viewers have trouble with Shaverak. And I hope you will consider the option of passing on the battle with Shaverak and see what happens. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.